Uh, class slope is um, yeah. rise over run, change in y over delta y over delta y, delta x just means change in y over change in x, y2 uh, minus y1 minus over x2 minus x1. Who knows what letter they use for slope? M. M. Okay, anyone know why they use the letter M for slope? Uh, I think it's a French guy who came up with it because uh, it came from the slope for Mount Montagna, for mountains, okay, because mountains have slope. And I think that's why they use the letter M for slope. Um, so if you have a line that goes like, let's draw some lines with the arrows on the end, okay. If you have it, whoops, that's not a line. If you have a line that looks kind of like this, going like that, uh, is this a positive slope or a negative slope? Positive. Positive slope because if it's going uphill from left to right, this has a positive slope. This is a negative, negative slope. Okay? Which has a bigger slope, this line or this line? This one has a bigger negative slope than this one, okay? What kind of slope does this line have? No slope. Uh, no, this has zero slope, because it's the chain, if you think about it. Zero okay? over zero. I know, I could go over like 10 over, whoops. I could go over 10, how much did I go up or down? Zero. So it'd be like zero over ten, right? Zero. Which is equal to zero. If I went between two points that were ten units apart, yes, sir. So positive is this way. Positive. This is positive. <laughs> These are both <laughs> negative. <laughs> negative. Okay. This line has zero slope, right? And a line. Going downhill, like straight downhill. What kind of slope does this have, uh, Stephanie? This has an undefined slope, undefined, because say I pick two points on here. Like uh, say these, say these points are five units apart. How much have I gone down from there? Five. Five. How much have I gone over? Zero. 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 5 over 0, that's infinity, right? Because you can't divide by 0 because you get an infinitely big number, okay? And so therefore, that's why a vertical slope says is up. Uh, okay, have you ever driven on I-25 and seen like a sign that says, well, with your parents coming back from from skiing or something, and it says steep grade ahead, 10% grade. Do you, do you, have you seen those signs? Yes. Slow down truckers. Yeah. Tap, what do they say there? You have all these funny things like oh, yeah. cool them down truckers or something like that. And yeah. if they say 10% grade or 7% grade, switch to low. That means, what does that mean if it says a 10% grade? Go ahead, Jenica. Yeah, if it's at 7% grade, so a 10% grade for every 100 feet, so we get down 7. So could you have a slope that is a 100% grade? No. Yes, you could. Well, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. straight down. No, it wouldn't be straight down. It would be, it would be a 45 degree angle. It would be, you go every 100 feet, you go down, you go over 100 feet. So you can have, could you have a 200% grade? Yeah. yeah, for every 200 feet you go down, you go over 100 feet, right? So if they say percent grade, that's a ratio of the size. It's not the same thing. It's kind of like, it, it is the slope, if you're really up there a lot.
What? If you want to be a trucker, you have to be good at math. Yeah, if you want to be a trucker, do you have to be good at math? Yeah. I don't know. I never, I've never been a trucker, so I don't know. Um, so then uh, you can find slopes. That's not a good triangle. How do we do this? There. There's a nice triangle. Say I know that okay, this point is negative 3, 5. And this point is 6, negative 1. Could you find the slope? Okay. Could you tell me how to find the slope? Wait. Um, yes, yeah, Sam, M. Okay, so so what do you get if you do that? What's Y2? Y2 is negative 1. Wait, I'm just going to see him. Negative 1, what's Y1? Five over six, six minus negative three, right? Which makes negative six over nine, which is, is that right? Yeah. Uh, negative two thirds, right? So that would be the slope of that. The other way you could do this, if you're on a, this is called a slope triangle, when this is a right angle right here, okay? Another way you could do it, although it's not always as nice and accurate, you could count the boxes. So from negative 3 to 6, it's 9. And from negative 1 up to 5, it's 6. So you're going down 6 and over 9. So therefore, you have a slope of negative 6 times. What if I see something that looks like, um, yes, sir? No. No, it'll come out the same. So, uh, what Sam asked? Um, so, what Sam asked is, if I went the opposite direction, would I get the same answer? As long as you're consistent. So, if I call this x1, I need to call this y1. If I call this x2, I need to call it y2. So if I subtracted the other direction, and I said this is 5 minus negative 1, right? Over oh, okay. negative 3 minus 6, you get 6 over negative 9, which is the same as <coughs> negative 2 thirds, right? Yeah. Okay? just as long as you're consistent. But it's better to subtract the one that comes after. That way you won't get confused. Yes, sir? What's the delta one? So it means like a triangle, y over that means it's the same Delta thing. means change, okay? So change. they say, what's the delta? That means what's the change, okay? So they use that symbol a lot in when you get to calculus and stuff like that. But delta means the change. So the change in y is actually negative 6, right? Uh -huh. And the change in x is positive 9. Okay. Okay, so delta y is negative 6. Delta x is... So then you'll see some other types of problems where you see something that looks like this. You have if the slope. So then you'll see something that looks like this where you have to kind of kind of use algebra a little bit. The slope of a line is negative 3 over 2. Okay? And they'll say 1 point 1 point is 3 comma y. Um, another another is Oh, that should say point, shouldn't it? Another is negative 2, 1. Okay? Find y. Did you guys do that? Yes. That's a little bit of algebra. Just kind of like you did with the midpoint. So the way you would do that is you, you take, it doesn't matter again which one you call y2 and y1. So what I would do is call the second one y2. So you go 1 minus y 
equals um, negative 2 minus 3, and that's equal to negative 3 over 2, all these negative numbers, right? So you got to be a little bit careful with your algebra. You get 1 minus y. What's minus 2 minus 3? Negative 5. Negative 5 equals negative 3 over 2. How do I get rid of this negative 5 down here? Multiply by 2. Multiply both sides by negative 5. Okay? So when I do that, negative 5 goes over here. Negative 5 goes over here. I get this goes away, right? And I get 1 minus y equals a negative times a negative gives you a positive 15 over 2. Do you and don't I'm multiply the bottom? No, you don't multiply the bottom. Just, just the top. Okay? Because if I, right? Oh, right, don't you? Yeah, because. Okay? Yeah, it's like by like negative 5 over 1. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay? And here you're multiplying by negative, because, yeah. And then um, I need to bring the 1 over here. So minus y equals 15 over 2 minus 1, because I have to subtract 1 from both sides. Minus y, that's 2 halves, right? So 13 over 2. And so if minus y is 13 over 2, then positive y would be negative 13 over 2, which is like, what's that, 6 and a half? It's negative 6 and 1 half. So that's not, that's some algebra that you could uh, do.